Greetings and congratulations on Bitcoin reaching $100,000. I assume there are people on my channel who are not subscribed to me anywhere except YouTube. And there may be comments like, Artem, why didn't you predict this movement? Why didn't you provide any entry points? And where have you been? To which I would respond that I actually provided two entry points and repeatedly mentioned the possibility of such a movement, in my opinion, even on YouTube as well. But I was absent for a little over a month because I had to fly to Moscow for business and I didn't record any videos. But on other social media, I actively shared and discussed how this pattern would close on October 19th. Let's move on. On the 28th, I believe, provided an entry point. In a long position after the breakout from this setup, moving on, I provided a second entry point for those who missed the first one. On November 6th, it was possible to enter on the retest. And this is the point. I talked about all of this. And you might have missed it if you are not subscribed. On my social media, I recommend doing that. I have provided the links below, Telegram, Instagram, there is more content there, and it is more up to date. Nevertheless, of course, I will also provide in the comments now, in case you didn't miss this movement, if you are subscribed to me or have entered the market independently. Congratulate you. And the question is, where should we take profits? What are the risks? And perhaps it makes sense to switch to some conditional Ujcoin. What do you think about that, Artemy? I will answer these questions in this video. Pay attention to the description. There will be link to register on the Bybit exchange. This is the top exchange where I personally trade, and it is number one in trading volume, liquidity, and has the lowest fees. Just from this, you will save about several hundred dollars each month. And why do I recommend registering specifically through my referral link in the description? With it, you will receive a cash bonus for registration ranging from $10,000 to $30,000, depending on the size of your deposit. Most of my subscribers receive $100, but if you have no deposit at all, you will be credited at least $10. If you are a large trader, the good deposit, you will be credited up to $30,000, but for large amounts, you will need to achieve the corresponding trading volume. On this page, click here and you can see what bonus you will receive for registration. The link is below. Enjoy watching. Let's start with the fact that at the moment when an all-time high is reached, there are no horizontal levels to rely on. This is obvious because crypto has never been at such prices before. In this case, crypto. The next moment, from a technical analysis perspective, this consolidation is called a flag, which is a continuation pattern. I have mentioned this multiple times, which is why I entered Blangi after the breakout and recommended doing the same to my subscribers on Telegram. This thing is traded in such a way that the impulse preceding the flag is approximately the same impulse we expect after breaking out of the flag. This is from the perspective of classical technical analysis. So, based on the impulse, it's approximately 125,000, of course. This is just an estimate. Let's move on. In fact, the impulse can be considered even larger. Larger, like the one that had a small consolidation inside. And in that case, it seems possible that even $200,000 is not far off. So, where should we aim? Where to take profits? First, I want to say that during moments when the price shoots up vertically and there are no reference points, you shouldn't set limit orders. It should not be done. You need to exit manually at the moment of trend rounding. Whether it's $200,000 here or if some setup forms right now, it doesn't matter if it's a continuation of the trend or a reversal setup. There's no difference. But if any setup forms and closes down, ideally with retests, if you are really paranoid, then at one exit point, two exit points, you need to exit manually. In such circumstances, you will never close at the maximum. But in reality, even if you set a limit order, I don't know. $125,000, what are the chances that you will close at the maximum? Small. There is a high probability that it will go even higher. There is even a chance that it won't reach there and then you will have to exit manually. But without such an exit scenario, you will have to exit at worse prices. But you guarantee yourself that after any setup and a downward close, even if you won't close at the maximum, you will close as close to it as possible. I assume, of course, that there will be some stop around 120. No, I'm lying, $115,000 based only on the fact that you can stretch Fibonacci on this trading range and pay attention to what resistance levels are according to Fibonacci. The first resistance level was around $90,000 and after the vertical rise where the first sales began around $90,000. I don't trade based on Fibonacci. In my opinion, this thing works extremely poorly. It doesn't help me in trading. I don't use it in my trading. Just for a visual demonstration, an interesting observation is that the first sell-off after the vertical rise started precisely from the nearest Fibonacci level. Well, the next one will be around $115,000. What else can be said about the all-time high and some levels?
Of course, there are no historical ones, but we can look at psychologically important zones, maybe at the formation of levels right now. And what is first and what is second, pay attention, is built around the mark of $100,000. This is a round value, a psychologically important mark, and it is from $100,000 that the last correction has occurred, and the price is being squeezed towards $100,000. If there is no breakout here, there will be a reversal. In case of a reversal, just exit. But don't just look at some kind of drop on the 4-hour chart. Definitely check the daily chart, and don't exit. Bring a vertical drop. This is just a flash crash. It's a take out of weak hands, and a trend reversal always goes through some setup with a reversal. It's going down vertically like this. It's not a big deal that you didn't sell here. It's not a big deal that you didn't buy back after that. There is no potential sale here. Should be sitting in the market here because this is still a trend. Only if there is a setup, a reversal, then you will exit. So if there is a breakout at $100,000, pay attention to what happens at moments when there is vertical growth. There are no resistances. The growth is accelerating. In my opinion, after a breakout and consolidation at $100,000, we are expecting even greater acceleration upwards, possibly up to the mark of $115,000, which is the next Fibonacci level. But I highly doubt that this Fibonacci grid stretched over the flag will somehow affect the trend change. No, there will just be a small pause, like there was near $90,000. It's very hard to say where and how it will stop. Now the next point, why did this growth happen? First of all, haven't been talking about the news lately. I think you've noticed that. I am talking about technical analysis and based solely on technical analysis, all of this was predicted by me in advance. In the technique, in the chart, all events are embedded, if not all, and at least all the probabilities of possible events. That Trump will become president. That Bitcoin will become the reserve currency of the Federal Reserve System of the USA. All of this has long been factored in. Probabilities are present in one way or another. One way or another, the mood of people, crowds, big money, foolish money, it all mixes together and it all reflects on the chart. And all technical analysis is based on the fact that everything is embedded in the chart. It was already clear in advance that after the breakout, we would soar. It is already clear in advance that even if a strong sell-off suddenly starts, it will be quickly bought back and the growth will continue and it will be vertical. There is only one option for a trend change through some reversal setup. And this will be visible, I will inform about it promptly on Telegram, on Instagram, and slightly less promptly on YouTube, but I will report it. I think this will be visible to you as well with the naked eye based on the information I just shared. Let's move on. As for altcoins, it, they have shot up partially recently. Some have gone up, but not significantly. Rare exceptions, altcoins did not react strongly to this rise in Bitcoin. This is evident from the dominance. I have a slightly modified chart of Bitcoin's dominance. It shows the ratio of altcoin capitalization to Bitcoin capitalization. This is visible here because during the rise of Bitcoin, the dominance, or rather the ratio of altcoin capitalization to Bitcoin, increased. However, over the past few days, something resembling a bottom has formed here. And I have already mentioned this, and will probably repeat it several times, if we find a bottom on this chart, after which a movement is likely to occur, this is called alt season, and many coins grow not just x2, they can increase by x10 or x20. Therefore, it is important to watch for this, and this could possibly be the bottom. You shouldn't buy here. Where should you buy? You should buy at the moment of a breakout, ideally with a confirmation and a retest. But uh, there is some hint here, especially if you look at the volume weights, indicating that this is the bottom. If you are ready, looking here to assume that this is the bottom, it is the right time to transition from Bitcoin to altcoins. All this time, up to and including today naturally, most logical scenario was to be long on Bitcoin, not on altcoins. Yes, some coins have shot up, but as I said, with rare exceptions, Overall, if you had accumulated a lot of coins in a long position, it would be hovering around like this. Well, of course, everything has risen because Bitcoin shot up significantly, but relative to Bitcoin, you wouldn't have gained much. However, if this is the bottom and such a situation awaits us, it means that the altcoin season is around the corner. Be prepared for the possibility that a bottom may form here, especially, I repeat, pay attention to the volumes. What happens at the beginning of the alt season? ADA, which skyrocketed by 200% in just a few days, was up like this. Stellar, which also skyrocketed by 500% in just a few days, goes up like this. Some no-name coin, HBAR, which also shot up, skyrocketed during alt season, goes up like this. So, you understand the potential to expect, right? 
it's not a big deal that you missed this. Maybe some actually didn't miss it. I think many made money on this too, but it's not my priority. Naturally, some small amounts, some little trading accounts are likely in altcoins. As they are more volatile and have greater potential for profit, that's obvious. But for more or less substantial funds, I hope you haven't entered altcoins yet because that would be illogical. You need to be in the trend, and hasn't been a trend for altcoins against Bitcoin. Perhaps it is, starting to emerge. Maybe we will see something here soon. Before this surge and the formation of a bottom, I would say, and before the rises of some coins, I would say that altcoins are more dead than alive for now. And I was waiting for the moment when Bitcoin would correct just a little bit up here. That altcoins would decline? This is not happening. This is another confirmation that perhaps we are at the bottom. And if you think, Artem, what are you talking about? Altcoins have already soared. Why are you telling us to switch to altcoins? It just took off along with Bitcoin. Some specific coins? Most have just bounced a little, but not all. Some are currently at the bottom, and there is certainly potential for such coins in case of an altcoin season. And specifically to respond to this comment, I first showed what happens during an altcoin season with coins that already seem to have soared. They soar even higher. A great example that I have shown multiple times and will show again. Several times. I will show it many times and often. Let's better look at some other exchange, like Poloniex for example. How does an altcoin season look? Oh, Poloniex is a bad option. Let's go with Bitfinex. Yes, here is Bitfinex. How does an altcoin season look? Pay attention. This is the chart of NEO. This is an altcoin season. The coin soars, then deflates, floundering somewhere at the bottom, showing some signs of life at times, some hints of life. These surges, I am showing a regular chart, not a logarithmic one, so these surges seem small, but in reality it's 150%, 160%, then it flounders somewhere at the bottom, down 70%, some unclear mess is happening, but at the moment of a true altcoin season, we see a breakout from the bottom, consolidation, and a vertical surge of 800%. What is happening with altcoins now, here it is a little bit, as has been seen multiple times in the past, both during this crypto winter and the previous one, such surges have been observed repeatedly. So if you are hunting for this, and this is exactly what I was talking about, nothing has been missed, don't worry. Moreover, nothing has started yet, but maybe in the coming days we will see this. Not so much days, more like weeks. And it is essential to keep an eye on this chart. If anything, I will also inform. So, I will let you know when to cash out, if needed. I will let you know when it is best to switch to altcoins for the alt season. Again, not to earn x2 or x3 in a few days, but to get a price that is not guaranteed, but close to guaranteed. In the case of the alt season, you can take hundreds, maybe even thousands of percent. We'll also inform you about this at the best moment. So, subscribe. If anything, the link is in the description for Telegram. There. Besides providing operational information, I will also give exit points and moments to switch to altcoins first. In the pinned message, there is a free mini course on trading if you want to learn how to trade. If you don't know how to do it, come in, watch, subscribe, and stay in touch. I look forward to your comments. Good luck.